Cloud State University was founded in 1869. A little while later, men's intercollegiate athletics were introduced to the university in 1895. It wasn't until 1969 that the women's athletics were officially added. You know that uh, women's athletics is celebrating its 50th year of intercollegiate competition, but women have actually been participating in sports since the early, at least the late 19th century. When women's athletics started, they started as actually field days, uh, so the women would get together and just play a bunch of different sports on the same day. They didn't have conference seasons. Uh, there was a uh, organization called the Women's Recreation Association that all women at St. Cloud State belonged to, and they had they would have camping trips. They would have all sorts of physical type experiences, nature experiences, but they would also play sports as well. So. Um, the first athletic competition that's been documented uh, was in March 1901 when a group of St. Cloud State women played the Brainerd High School basketball team. I think all the girls that came before me were really on board with that. Um, they really wanted to see um, Huskies athletics in general, but also just the volleyball program to improve. And I think that they did a really good job of setting the tone, just, I mean, setting high standards for us as Athletes. The real catalyst for um, women's athletics on this campus was Gladys Zemer, and Gladys passed away a few years ago, so she was hired in the summer of 1968, and she brought, I think that first year, so that was 68-69, it was basketball, sorry I'm looking at my notes, it was basketball and softball were the first sports uh, that were here, uh, and other sports quickly followed, they had a badminton team, you can believe it, intercollegiate badminton team, they did. Gymnastics, which is no longer around, um, that program was cut in the early 80s. Volleyball, and I saw a reference to field hockey too, but I'm not so sure about that, and tennis as well. But the first intercollegiate match competition that took place was in January 1969 in women's basketball. Shortly after the program was established, Title IX followed suit in 1972. The advent of Title IX, we realized, and, and really for the first time, uh, federally mandated that men and women are treated equally. Title IX, it doesn't refer just to athletics, but it's education. No person in the United States shall, on the basis of sex, be excluded from participation in, be denied the benefits of, or be subjected to discrimination under any education program or activity receiving federal financial assistance. So that means that, well, all academic programs, including athletics, so was leveling the playing field for women in intercollegiate athletics as, as, as part of what Title IX was meant to be. It's important to have women's athletics because honestly like men's have men have athletics so women are competitive and they want to compete so giving women the opportunity to be athletic and compete against others is important. Gives them more opportunities to gain confidence, uh, teaches them leadership skills and ability, um, really gives them that, uh, that information and that knowledge about how to perform as a unit. And uh, I think those opportunities really help our young women going forward as they become professionals in the real world. Every sport, um, except volleyball, men have always come first. And volleyball is the first sport where men were follow women. And I just think that's really cool um, that opportunities like that are coming about for women to lead the way um, and not necessarily always have to follow them. Having the 50th anniversary that just shows like how much, how far women's athletics has came. So I think that's really cool to see. I mean, now we're able to compete a bunch of other teams. We're able to travel to different states. So it's just a lot of fun and it means a lot. I think having women's intercollegiate athletics in itself is a triumph. You know, I think the first 50 years have just been a springboard. 